Welcome back to another episode of the Fab Forms. I think it's time to work on this thing again. This episode of the Fab Forms is brought to you by Metal Supermarkets, the convenience store for metal. Find a store near you by clicking the link in the description. All right, so super quick shop update, just because obviously it's still got an echo. Um, just moving all kinds of stuff in. I just got it kind of piled up right now because I want to finish the walls. And I've kind of started already. You can kind of see that just got stringers. They're kind of notched into the foam. And my plans are do some along the bottom, do one at the top, and then I can have something to tie the tin into when I go to put tin in it. And then I'll put like extra ones above the doors um, just so those long pieces can tie in. Uh, I do plan on using like new tin everywhere in the shop except for maybe in the lounge space. And I picked up some old used bar barn tin. So I had a buddy of mine that had a bunch of sheets of this stuff. And I was like, perfect, I'll take it. I'm not really 100% on exactly where I'm gonna put it. Mostly, probably in the lounge space, maybe like on the back of this table. It's places like that, just as like accent pieces within the shop. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Today I wanna get back on the Bibster. I wanna start, uh, well I wanna kinda work on this venting or this shroud for the radiator in the back. You may or may not have seen the video where I made this centerpiece here. And so I wanna start trying to make the pieces that come up to the quarter windows themselves. Kinda get those mocked up halfway decent and uh, see, see what we're looking at. So I got the two identical panels kind of roughed out. The problem with doing a panel like this is that you can't really test to see if you're on the right path yet because it won't fit where it needs to be until you start bending up all these edges and kind of put the creases in them and all that stuff. And then by that time it's too late. So next what I want to do is I'm gonna do some bead rolling in these panels. Um, but, there's a bend that's gotta happen right here. And I think I wanna put that bend in this panel before I bead roll it. Cause it's just a very small bend. Uh, I'll do that and then what I'll do is we can start breaking some of these edges and we can see if we can get this thing to fit in the car and kinda see where we're at.
so the first angle is broken this thing. It's just a guesstimate. I think I'm pretty close. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna actually roll the bead in this panel, kind of put that design in it uh, before I go any further. The problem is, is if you if you go too far with this, you can't get this thing through the bead roller. You can't kind of twist this material through the bead roller itself. As a matter of fact, that angle there may be a little bit tough. Let's find out. Okay, so the panel's pretty close. I got the bend down the center. I got this bend up front. Uh, kind of rounded that over just so I can kind of fit it in the car and get an idea of how it fits. Now this last one I'm gonna do is out here on the edge. And I've kind of showed this technique before, but because it's not a straight line, you don't want to break it in a sheet metal break, but you gotta bend this 90 degrees. And the way I'm gonna do that is with a tipping die. I'll change out this lower one to just like a rubber wheel and then basically we'll just run this thing up under there kind of giving it a little bit of angle each time we do it kind of fold that flange up and then um, it may distort the panel slightly but I'll just go in here and and uh, stretch that or shrink it whatever I need to do in order to get it to fit just right this here will be the flange that actually attaches to the body uh, this is the flange that attaches to the centerpiece in the car. So yeah. I think I've got both panels good enough to kind of do a dry fit now. Kind of give you an overview of what I've done. This is obviously still pretty rough. It's going to be cleaned up and tweaked a bunch. I've got a flange up top that will be bent at some point, but not yet. Bent that flange down. And then this is what I did with that tipping die. So you can kind of see that it has a roundness to it but it's bent and that's going to go right in here at the quarter window so that's why it had to be round and then that flange there is what attaches right down in here basically goes in there just like that so this is what I want to do now. I'm going to take and pop a couple holes in these, put some Clecos in there, try to get everything lined up the best I can, and then just take a look at it, make sure that all this hard work is 
um, going in the direction that I want to go. If it's not, then I got to start over. There you go, two more panels down. Feels, uh, feels good to be working in the shop, not on the shop. So let's do the walk around. I'll kind of show you up close what, what we got, how they turned out, and yeah. So you can kind of see maybe, if I can get this thing to focus. So it's got like a rounded edge that kind of Fits that piece there. And on the inside, there's that break we had in it. It's got the beads in it. And this flange, way well, I kind of designed it as I was hoping that it'd kind of fall halfway. So kind of give it, you know, the proper look. Put a bunch of rivets in here. See from the back side. So on both sides are the same. So you can kind of see how that rounded edge kind of just follows that. The head on. All right, guys, there you go. Another Bibster video for you. Uh, we'll work on the shop. Probably put a couple other videos together. May even have a Friday video this Friday. It's been a while. Yeah, I got something special. I got something worth bringing you. Anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son. Hey.